jukebox. On KLOS, that was Jimi Hendrix, Dolly Dagger. Then we had Generation X, Valley of the Dolls. Alice Cooper, Billion Dollar Babies. Cliff Richard, Living Doll. Noel Gallagher, Holy Mountain. And we started off with Roxy Music, In Every Dream Home, A Heartache from the album For Your Pleasure. That was their second album. And joining me is Tom Lennon. How are you, Tommy? It's baby? great to see you. It's great, great to see you, Steve. Mm-hmm. Things are really good. Yeah, yeah. Always working. I'm always working. Yeah. Do you do you get do you hustle your own stuff, or do you have like an agent who really does get your stuff? Uh, your agents. One thing you'll learn when you do this for a long time: agents are great, but that's they're not. No, nothing's coming to you. If you don't make some, if you don't make it up, then nothing's ever coming. If you don't get it's out just and about, you. get out and about. Yeah, yeah. I've never really had. Uh, only very late in my life did I ever get jobs that somebody else said, "Oh, let's get him for that." That doesn't happen. <laughs> never. Yeah. No. Um. So do you think? Um. But you 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 have to have an agent. That's all part of the game, right? I guess. I guess you do. Unless you're Jack Nicholson, maybe you don't. Probably not. You know. Although, I mean, if you look at what I'm doing, I'm doing weird stuff all the time. Well, the, the, uh, I was just watching the weird thing. To the new one, the Puppet Master? The only trouble yeah. is, mm-hmm. I couldn't put it on airplay. Oh, yeah? So I'm just watching it on my phone, like, tiny hot, little, like about this much. It's a perfect movie to watch on a tiny little iPhone. Just puppets <laughs> ripping people apart. <laughs> graphic sex scenes. Watch I, it. Get it as small as you can. It's like the size of a postage stamp. Tiny. Tiny. It really looked like a puppet just ate somebody's eyeball. That was gross. <laughs> a lot of that happens. But what I did see, I, I, I mm-hmm. lasted about half an hour. Then I just couldn't take it anymore. How did you got a clip of the movie? You got a, the movie's not out yet. I know. It was oh, a, you get a sneaky one because because you're a big wheel. That's it. Baby. When you're a big wheel, you start to get sneak peeks. That's it. Yeah. So you don't want to talk about what it what it's about then? I absolutely will talk about what it's about. Bunch of puppets. I go down to this puppet. There's, this is, by the way, the 14th Puppet Master movie. I saw something yeah. on AMC. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, because these are movie classics. Okay. These are... <laughs> if you like a movie... So here's what happens. I, uh, I've got this old puppet that I find in my closet from a dead brother, and I go to this convention. Turns out all these puppet, puppets are the disgusting killer puppets from the Puppet Master series. People just start getting ripped apart. <laughs> It's my goal was I was like, you know what? I want to be in a couple Merchant Ivory movies and then I just want to be literally spend the next part of my life rolling on a hotel floor fighting a fighting a puppet that's trying to eat my eyeball. And you know what? It was a lot of fun. It's dark humor, though, right? It's I don't even know if it's humor. You don't think there's any humor? <laughs> it's it's uh it's this is a uh, puppet master movies are they're an acquired taste. They're uh you know, we're not going to you don't get a lot of just like, hey, you know, drop in business. I think it's like, I want to see a naked guy fighting a puppet, getting his Achilles cut. Off. <laughs> you know, uh, that said, I think it's a pretty fun movie. It's uh, yeah. Yeah. So and this one's kind of goes goes to, uh, you know, Nazism. Yeah. This one, there's a little the puppets are Nazis in this one. And uh, the answer, the reason is, I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> All I know is I, re- I read the script, and it's me literally every single scene, just like puppets crawling up and biting me on the nuts. Everything's awful. I read the script, and at one point I, I saw that I get to stand there and say, I know why. Because <laughs> these puppets are Nazis. And I was like, all right. <laughs> you said that line? Yeah. And I say it with as much gravitas. This will be this will weirdly be probably the movie I get the awards for. You notice I've I've been on an awards free streak, Steve, <laughs> <laughs> since you've known me. Yeah. But this could be the one. You know this what, could be the man? One. Yeah. You're constantly working. Yeah, I'm around. That's the main thing. Isn't I'm it? around. Yeah. Do you think when you get an award, it helps you get more gigs? I'm. I think it must do. Right? It must. Right? I wouldn't. No. You will have some awards, right? I don't know nothing. Nothing. Although I am getting a star on Hollywood Boulevard. When is that? I don't know. Mm. This year, sometime. Supposedly, mm-hmm. rock and roll hall yeah, of fame. Yeah, you got the rock and roll hall of fame. That's yeah. got that. I love that. He, when I asked him what he's got, he's like nothing, nothing. Nobody ever noticed anything we did. So you're in the rock and roll hall of fame, you idiot. Is that a big deal? Because to me, it's yes! no big deal. There's like tons of bands that never even got in. Like Rush got in like two years ago. Yeah. Well, maybe four years ago. 
I'm going to get some phone calls. But Rush has been in. You know, there's a lot of people that came late to Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. So, yes, it's a big, big deal. Well, the good thing yeah. is it, it's voted through other musicians, right? right. That's how they count yeah. the vote, vote. That's how they right. do the vote, supposedly. Do you – you don't get to pick your location for your star on the Walk of Fame? Uh no, I don't know. Mm. You want to get right wa- outside that? You know where the Hooters is across from Man's Shiny, across from the Man's? Is there a Hooters there? Yeah. Is is it gone? I don't know. Maybe Mem- the Me Too movement, Fredericks? the Hooters got closed. There used to be a Hooters right across. Do you, mem- do you remember Fredericks? The of course. Laundry shop? Do I remember Fredericks? I'd be happy with that outside there. Oh, I just don't want to be on a side street. You know, like you don't want to be on a, a, a Ivar. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That's kind of anticlimactic to me. There's whole blocks I will walk down. Where I don't know one name, and that's because and and that's they're down a side mm-hmm. street, right? There'll be a name that's like Fred Kukalu, and then the image is like a puppet or something. You know, there's like TV, radio, drama. There's a, there's some folks that I don't know if they'd make the cut by today's standards. Well, mine's for broadcasting. Yeah. Now, um, I think they do. I think they do move them sometimes. Absolutely. When they, when they're just the person is nobody anymore. Right. But, you know what I mean. Uh, I think there's a couple of fictional characters that have stars, right? Mickey Mouse has a star. He does? I want to say Barney. I'm Charlie, a, McCarthy. Charlie McCarthy. Steve Jones from the Sex Pistols. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, you, you're going to stand out there that first day, of course, right? Am I going to stand out there? Yeah, you just stand, hide behind a bush and jump out at people behind, when you're, they stand at your star. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be out there constantly <laughs> polishing it. Yeah, or what you do zoo is you just, you're naked camouflaged against the building like we paint you to match yeah, the yeah. building right next to you and just as soon as people are like Steve Who's Jones I thought he was made up you just jump out and go I'm here I'm here I'm here I'm here I'm here I got you <laughs> we'll do that I, I will do that with you I think there's going to be a lot of people, people saying who's Steve Jones mm-hmm. well are there, are there other, there's another favorite they'll be like uh, there's a few Steve they'll Joneses. say oh, oh I know who he was he was in the monkeys he's the little one he was a long distance runner Still, the famous Steve Jones, the long distance runner. I didn't know he had a radio show. God bless him. And there's some bloke in England who's a presenter called Steve Jones. Who's a real muppet. I hate that guy. Muppet. I hate that guy so much. I'll punch him right in the face. Right I'll now. I'll say it right now. Other Steve Jones, don't you ever, ever cross me. You know, you know what, um, you know what there is that I'm, I love. There's a Quinn Martin. Mm-hmm. Remember Qu- Quinn Martin Day? I know it very well. I love. It's I lo- Quinn Martin Day. I love that guy, man. I, it's Quinn Martin Day. Put I, your slacks on backwards. I wonder if uh, <laughs> I wonder if um, go hey. see Cal's got a star. Do they, Cal Worthington. They, am I wrong? But do you when you get the star and God God bless, don't they also say, "Hey, you got the star. Congratulations! You also now owe us like five thousand bucks for the upkeep of your star." Uh, yes, I, I, I'm sure that's coming. <laughs> They're like, "Congratulations!" And he, oh, well, here's the bill. Yeah, I ain't, for, uh, I ain't paying for it. <laughs> that's all I know. <laughs> is this? I feel like you telling me you get the star is one of those one of these scams where you they usually are like, hey, I'm getting celebrated by somebody. Do you want to buy a huge advertisement to congratulate me? Oh, I feel like I'm just I just got I just got lassoed in yeah. to buying you a double page fold out in Variety. Oh man, there's some hustles these days. You know, on your phone and my e- wife email. You ready for this? My Ooh. wife got one of those things popped up on the screen that said. Um, Call Apple Care immediately. Yeah, you may have you your Virus. computer's been compromised. Yeah, she calls them. Oh no! And I'm not. What are you doing? I call on the other line. So, dude, just scamming into the computer, <laughs> hacking everything. And what, one thing that she said, he was the most polite person she dealt with on the phone in like five years. He was so great. So, as he helped hack into our entire computer system. Did, did she? G- so did, nice. Did she give him info? Did she? For, did she believe she was talking to a bloke at Apple? Absolutely, Care? and she was into the screen, and he was a lovely guy, and they were going through folders, and he could, she could see him like moving stuff. Oh, around. she did. Oh the f- no, she let him in, and then I was oh, on the phone saying, dude. "Get the app off the yeah. phone," and she's like, "He's really nice, honey. He's actually being nicer to me than you're being right now." <laughs> oh no! So what did you do? Uh, we had, we sh- I, stuff. I, I literally said, shut down the computer, run away from it. We shut it down, and then we had somebody come to the house and like check it out and everything. Yeah, yeah. that's a common theme, man. And there's always gullible people mm-hmm. who ain't up with the tech world. Yeah, they that you can do it. I almost right. 
got done. You never. You must have been hacked one here, because there's a. I feel like there's a lot of your computer's full of a lot of you in G-strings with guitars. Yeah, but yeah. This, <laughs> this one time I was on the computer at like two in the morning, mm. you know, looking at some mm -hmm. websites. Of course, yeah. You know what I'm talking. Of course, about. I, of course I know. And all of a sudden, <laughs> I was going deep. I was. Lo we're looking for. You're going down what's called a rabbit hole. Yeah. I was mm -hmm. beyond the hole. <laughs> I was in the you're, cross. You're hitting the lava, the molten lava where <laughs> rabbits are cooked alive. The rabbits are... <laughs> you're below the rabbit hole. Oh, oh man. And I'm in there. Mm. And I'm in mm. like a bubble, you know? Yeah. And all of a sudden, a pop-up comes up. Boop. Um, you have... You have... You have... Uh, Been... Did, you, did it have a picture of Barack Obama next to it? No. Because uh, I got that one time. <laughs> no, no. This, this was... Uh, uh, you have a virus. Call us well, back right well, away. That we know. You're I, in the sex yeah. pistols. But also the computer has, might have something wrong with it. I've got a lot of viruses. <laughs> <laughs> Did, you didn't call? I, I called. And you've been sober 50 listen, years? Listen, listen. Yeah. yeah, but I was in the bubble. The panic, because it looks so real. I was in the it bubble. It so real. I'm doing this Did it freeze for an up hour. Your, Did it freeze up your screen? Huh? Was your screen frozen also? So you can't get any, rid of any of the windows. I, yeah. I, I realized that, but I called yeah. mm -hmm. some long number. Mm -hmm. It was a guy in India. Mm -hmm. We can get rid of this virus mm -hmm. now, sir. Give us mm -hmm. $300. Wait, in Bitcoin? Oh, you got ransomed. He wanted, he wanted yeah. my credit card. Yeah. I was about to give him the credit card. Yeah. I said, who are you? Mm -hmm. I, I finally came down out mm -hmm. of the bubble Yeah. and said, Look, who are you? What do you mean $300? Okay, we can do it for $200. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love when people who are grafting you are worth are ready to negotiate a little bit. Yeah, and he and he, he said that he was from Apple too. Mm -hmm. And then I just then I just smelled a rat and I just hung up. I uh you ready for this Steve? So one time I I'd looked up a, a a summer house rental in Austria on one of those websites. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> and um make the deal. It's in Austria. The guy's weird back and forth. He says, "Hey, let's go off uh, the site. I can give you a discount. I'll, I'll charge you way less if I do if I do it not through the the main site." <laughs> Red flag, guys. So I go. I start now. We're emailing back and forth. It's totally normal. My business manager says, "Hey, be careful. There's a lot of fraud in these vacation rental home yeah. rental things." And I'm like, mm, "I think I'm a little smarter than that, people. Thank you." <laughs> so I start to get nervous, and I notice that the emails are a little strange. And he wants me to wire him 15,000 euros for the, the place. It's yeah. a big place. My whole family's going for like a month in the summer. And uh, so I'm like, you know what? I, here's where I decide I think I'm a mastermind. I say to him, I want you to call me on the phone, and here's my phone number. So you call me from Austria, and I know that you exist and that this is not a scam. Yeah. 24 hours go by. At about 4 o'clock in the morning, my phone rings. It's got a 4-4 yeah, prefix yeah so i'm like this is austria guys on the other end of the phone and i go wie geht's oh wie geht's mit ihnen oh danke gut und ihnen and i'm so excited i'm speaking <laughs> german to some weird guy i'm like it's all legit um i'm like i you know <laughs> ich liebe the house and i'm like and so hang up eisenhausen i hang up business opens in la i call my guy i'm like you wire that guy that fifteen thousand oh. euros because it seems great uh, Send an email later in the day. I'm like, hey, did you get that uh, that massive amount of money that I wired you? No response. No response. Uh, no response. Uh, it was completely fake. Uh, the entire thing. From the minute I clicked on the the vacation website, it goes to a mirror site. Looks completely real. It's completely fake. Somehow, I I thought it was I was a genius because I said you call me and yeah. here's my phone number. Yeah. They literally got some like actor friend to go like wie geht's mit Ihnen. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh it's legit. Ich spreche keine, keine Deutsch. Oh, it's so good. Oh. So you got done 15. I got, I got, I got 15, done real bad. 15,000 euros. It really, really sucked, man. <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah. That it feeling. Really, that feeling. Well, and then the stupidity and then the fact that when you get scammed, sometimes the evidence is all around you. Like they're just trying to say, stop me. Yeah. Like this guy yeah, doesn't yeah. make sense. They're just, you know. Yeah. Imagine older people, people yeah. who have no idea yeah. how internet works and all the rest of it must get taken to the right. cleaners. When you so when you were looking at that kind of website, the one of those that used to come up would freeze up your screen 
So you can't, like if somebody walks you in the room, you can't get anything yeah. off the screen. Yeah. And it used to come up with a picture of President Obama, like on the side of the screen, yeah. as if the White House had right. just tracked your porno <laughs> search. <laughs> and they were like, sir, we, you have crossed the Rubicon. We cannot yeah. tolerate. Yeah. This is you are looking at chicks with. This, this is another uh, slick one. So when I got mm -hmm. this new, the 4K screen uh yeah. no no the, the new apple um tv yeah apple tv yeah. i've got the new box the little black box the four, yeah. fourth generation yeah yeah it's fabulous yeah amazing mm -hmm. but when i got rid of the old one put in a new one they wanted a lot of information again ah uh, you know passwords and, and, and uh, i clicked mm -hmm. on the passwords this is this is a, a, a new thing straight mm -hmm. away i got an email from mm -hmm. some bogus site someone's mm -hmm. trying to get into your thing it mm -hmm. must be there waiting for when someone lose uh, changes their password or something, it was it was totally you sure a scam. it wasn't real. No, because sometimes I, I tried to log into no, I logged into my in my mom's apartment in the old folks home. I logged into Netflix in my account, and in two seconds there was a like there's fraud in your Netflix account, which it was me. But yeah, but wh who they, was the email it. from? It was actually from Netflix. Yeah, this wasn't. Yeah. This was some yeah. weird name thing. Right. My point is that there's a an algorithm. When you've changed something, they know. someone swoops in there. They know, yeah. And and they because you just did it, they believe that you did it. You know what I mean? It's not a coincidence. Anyway, let's play some music. Let's do it. We're going to visit the Duke. We're here with Tom Lennon talking about stuff. When we come back, we're going to be doing some more talking about stuff. <laughs> You're listening to Jones's Jukebox on KLOS. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> Grimsley Feedy. Yeah, fine. It's so nice. The people are going to join this trip. Now, is that, is that uh, Peter Laurie or is that um, yes, Lord uh, Kaufman? <laughs> I guess it's Peter Laurie, yes. Yeah. Uh, yes, uh, hi. <laughs> oh, it's nice to be back. Yeah. If you're, if you're going to hear the show, please call our customer support line because you might have been hacked. <laughs> <laughs> that was the Smiths. What different does it make? Then we had the last Shadow Puppets, Miracle Aligner, from their second album. Then we had the New York Dolls, who are the Mystery Girls, from their second album, second and only album. <clears throat> um, now you 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 do a you do you play in a Smiths cover band, right? I am uh, an adjunct member of the Sweet and Tender Hooligans. Yeah, Sweet and Tender Hooligans yeah. at the El Rey, twenty fifth of August, Saturday the twenty fifth. We're playing. Should be a very very fun show. Yeah, yeah. How many songs do you play? When I play with the band, as I'm not the full time rhythm guitar player, that's Art Barrios. David Collette's the main guitar player. Obviously, Jose Maldonado, uh, Joe Escalante, uh, Danny's on the drums. Uh, I am the. Uh, I play like uh, usually eight, ten, ish. Eight or ten songs, probably yeah. something like that. You know, the Johnny Marr stuff's hot, really hard. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, until and my old hands get you know, until my hands are tangled up in knots. But you, you get you, you get like arthritis. A little bit, yeah, yeah. Some of them are tough. So I, I usually I get to luckily I do a little bit more of the sort of the strumming parts, which is the you know the the under parts of the. You must stay away songs. from cheese, Tom. Uh, well, cheese is murder. <laughs> <laughs> Not necessarily. And the you cheese you so fancifully hey. fry, Steve. <laughs> you don't have to it kill an animal murder. to get cheese. Uh, this was a big conversation that I had with some members of the band because uh, there are some, certainly some vegans in the band. Yeah. But we were standing down at the Orange County Fair, and we are standing next to a, a great big beautiful cow. And my, my buddy uh, Dave Collette from the band said, uh, could you kill that cow and eat it? And I said, nope, no way. Yeah, and then he said, "Could you milk that cow?" And I said, "You bet." In fact, I would kind of like to. And, and then uh, I did. <laughs> and, and 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 why is that a no no? Cheese with vegans. Well, it has to do with a lot with the. Uh, you know what it is, everybody? Uh, because um, um, the way that the way it's done. Well, one, it's cruel, and two, it ruins the planet. Like apparently, the worst thing in the entire planet is the raising of uh, cows. Basically, cow fart, cow farts, cow poops. All but, that stuff. Uh, okay, okay. So, is like shoving a bunch of cows together in a place and making them all poop on each other is like one of the worst things you can do. Especially if you yeah. feed them corn. They don't eat cows. Don't eat corn. I know. Cows don't eat corn. They don't, don't eat, eat it. No cow would ever plant corn to eat. They don't eat it. It just they don't eat it. That's why the farts are so bad. 
Yeah, because they don't eat corn. That dr- it's grass. Gross. Cows eat grass. Yeah. I know. And smoke grass. Um, they eat and smoke. Yeah. Only grass. It's oh. like making a cow smoke corn. That's crazy. And not only corn, it's like GMO corn. And the cheese you so oh. festively <laughs> suck a <knocky. laughs> Oh, man. I, I thought I, I'd become a vegetarian the last time I saw Morrissey. And then he said, if you've ever bought milk, you are a the problem. <laughs> you are a murderer. And I was like, well, I'll endlessly be playing catch up. Yep. So you a vegetarian? Uh, no, I actually I quit that too. <laughs> How long did you last? I was. I lasted about two years. Yeah. Two years I did. Uh, it was hard. Okay. Yeah. I've got no problem mm-hmm. with vegans. Yeah. But why do they feel obligated to ram it down your throat mm. that they're vegan? But a lot of people do that whenever they get into something new or, you know, and they're excited about it. That'd be like me talking to you about yoga. I'd be like, Steve, you want to come to yoga with me? And I'm like, you got to come to yoga. Everything is yoga. There yeah. isn't anything else. Yeah. What do you like? You like watching TV? There isn't. It doesn't exist. Yes. Because there's only yoga. yoga. <laughs> See? But, like, that's new new recruits to stuff usually. I mean, I get yeah. the humane thing that they're trying to get that across. Well. Cruelty. They're also right on that one. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, it is pretty, it's pretty rough. I don't think, yeah. um, I don't, I like to eat a lot of it. I'm like 90%. Vegetarian, yeah, and I like to have a lot, have a lot of greens, a lot yeah. of vegetables. I think it's really good mm-hmm. to do that. You also love farting. I, I mean, I know, I, lo- I know that. I've known that about you for years. That's why I get the cantalini beans. <laughs> the cantalini <laughs> beans. Know what it's those ammunition. Are. <laughs> it's far ammunition. They're the most. Are they the most? Because they're, they're just most condensed. The finest beans <laughs> in all of the land. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, man. It's good to see you. It's, good to see yeah. you. Oh, so look, mm-hmm. what was we going to talk about? Aquabats. Oh, we're doing the Aquabats show, too. Yeah. Yeah, you and me both uh, are doing the Aquabats because the Aquabats are trying to get their TV show going again. Yeah. And so there's a, uh, a fundraiser. They have this giant GoFundMe yeah. campaign. Is that what it's called? Kickstarter. Whatever. Kickstarter. And uh, there's a big show at the El Rey yeah. September 1st. You're going to get out with them. Yeah. I'll probably. So, are, so are you out here. I, well, I don't know yeah. where you heard it. But I'm going to go mm-hmm. definitely go down there. I want to get him on the box. We'll do it. But I'm just waiting for mm-hmm. uh, Paul Frank to build me my power belt. Mm-hmm. They've got the other stuff for me, the blue top and the, the little And the little the, the thing. And yeah. the glasses. But I, I need the power belt. You and me so. will get up and we'll do the famous Sex Pistol song. May the road rise with you. That's not Sex Pistol. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it is. No, uh, it's the other I don't part. want to be a stickler here, but if somebody could look that up. It's got the guy with the spiky hair who goes, Me the root, that's, it. that's you. part of him, yeah. Me the root. I know it. It's great. It's Johnny Baby. Yeah. It's a great, it's my, probably my favorite Sex Pistols. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, wind up merchants, you uh, So many people are going to uh, tweet at me right now. No, like, you don't know anything. Yeah, fools. Jerk. I hope you get hacked. Ain't, they play, ain't, ain't he playing? I hope your screen ain't freezes pill up. playing at the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're plugging that. When is Pill playing that thing? I don't know, but I get a reminder about it every day. <laughs> I well, don't know. They're they're all playing, yeah. Yeah. Is uh, it juice call them Pill? Well that's the name of the band. I thought you said Public Image Limited. You don't say yeah, that? Yeah, it's Pill. Yeah. Mm-hmm. P I L mm-hmm. Public Image Limited. Who's uh see then the other thing is I get them confused with uh Big Clash. Audio Big Audio Dynamite. Yeah. Mm-hmm. D O A. Yeah. No, that's not right. Big Audio Dynamite's got some great ones. What was short for Big Audio Dynamite? B A D, which is confusing because it's also an amazing Michael Jackson record. Is this code for something? <laughs> but we sh- uh, um, w- uh, what's the great Van Big Halen. Audio Dynamite? Dead on arrival. Like a motor, let the people play. Mm. 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 I think we might. Are you in uh, Big Audio Dynamite? There's a guy with the same last name. <laughs> there is, right? Yeah. There's a Jones, Mick. Mick Jones. Yeah. Guy from Foreigner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if I've heard of him. Uh-huh. Mm. This is a this is a fun rabbit hole. He's not a foreigner anymore. Can you can anybody ready? Yes, he, he has a for all the money I have in my wallet. Yeah. Give me one other big audio dynamite song. Uh, oh. Uh, oh. That's not fair. He that just you get, ruined it. Yeah. Just ruined it. Oh, We're going to play something way better than that, Mr. Tom Lennon. Let's do it. I bet you've never heard of this. 
Aphrodite's child, the four horsemen. I'm not. Yeah, you're let's in, do it. You're in for a treat. I'm going to lie down on the floor while we do this. When's your movie uh, being shown? Uh, Puppet Master: The Littlest Reich is out uh, August 17th, like everywhere on every kind of device. All fear is not near you. Yeah, there's at faraway theaters or on the device that's in your hand and in front of you in the room, so you could watch it on the TV and the laptop and the regular TV. But if something right. pops up, says you're being hacked, ignore it. Yeah, well, you, uh, is that part of the movie? It could be part of the movie. Okay. <laughs> Jonesy's mm -hmm. jukebox, Carl OS, <laughs> take it away. You're listening to Jonesy's jukebox on Carl OS. Downtown is about 75 right now, 405, about 84. Right here in the station, it's about miles per hour. Yeah, go go eat, go easy. <laughs> <laughs> My guest is Tom Lennon. Hi, Tom. Hi, Steve. Beautiful. Is that your real name? Yeah. Yeah, my name is uh, Thomas Patrick Lennon. Is that an Irish name? Yeah. You think? Yeah, it's well, real Irish. -y. Only yeah. because of John Lennon. Yeah, the, well, all the Lennons are kind of Irish types. Lennon's a big name out in the west coast of Ireland, like Galway and such. Is that where it's from? Yeah, and then uh, you know a lot of the uh, people in Liverpool just were just Irish people who didn't get very far into England. <laughs> yeah. Do you think a lot of people change their name after John Lennon? To Lennon. No, away from it. Away that. from it. Yeah. Because he was a little bit, because he was a trick sometimes. Well, you know, it's like, mm. uh, it's like calling yourself Presley. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or like, uh, like uh, Nicolas Cage's real name is Nicholas Coppola. Do you know that? Yeah, he's part of the... Uh, yeah, he's part of the, and the dynasty. Did, and he but didn't want to He be... didn't want the name. Right. Right. Is Steve Jones your real name? No. No. What is it? <laughs> My wheels are turning, buddy. It's My Midge. Majure. Majure. Frumple. Couture. Majure Couture. <laughs> the weird part of your first name is that it has Majure's whole name in it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Steve Jones is your real name. No. What's your middle name? Philip. Right. So what's your real name? It's none of your business. No. Yeah. I can look it up. It's in the police blotter. Huh? <laughs> it's in, I'm sure if I go to the London police blotter from a certain era, I could find you in it. There's plenty of names <laughs> of my name in that. In, like in the, the police 60s. blotter, but in not the, you. In the mid-60s. Yeah. That was, that was my uh, mm -hmm. healthy years. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm well aware. Yeah. Grand theft, autos. But I, sh I often say that I mm -hmm. should have changed my name when the other two guys did. With right. A, with a punk name. Right. To so, like it's a, a bit late now, but right. I wish I did. Yeah, what well, 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 would have been a great one? Arthritis. <laughs> that's that's not a punk name. That's Arthur? a drag queen name. Arthur. I Ladies and gentlemen, arthritis. <laughs> oh come on. Okay, arthritis. It's actually pretty good. It's a good one. Yeah. There's a thousand. Skull leosis. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together from Public Image Limited. And big audio dynamite scoliosis, <laughs> but spelled S K U L L. Yeah, yeah or, or or Mick Continent. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? I got one. I got one. I got Come one. On. Crunchy boils. Is that anything? Uh, what, what is that? Crunchy boils would be, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like you got boils on your bottom, but then they've been there so long they just got. <laughs> I just get old. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Crunchy Boils. Virgin Records recording artist. Crunchy Boils. <laughs> Crunchy Boils. What about um Or you could go with something like really like awful like Arthur Treacher's like the <laughs> like the same name as the fish and chips place, just to be like uh, you know Fish and Chip Place. You never you never heard of Arthur Treacher's? No. Oh, when I was a kid in uh, the States here, there was a You big, had fish and chip shops? We had a, a, a chain of fish and chips. Where? In you know, the States. In California? I don't know if they're in California. I'm probably just called East Coast. But there was like a sort of a stuffy old British dandy. Yeah. Maybe it was like Jimmy Savile or some guy like that. And he was like, come on in to offer treat just fish and chips. What, was they popular? No. <laughs> it was Well, it obviously wasn't popular enough to survive. It never caught on in America, fish and chips. No. I don't think. No, because it's terrible for you. Well, there's a lot of food that's terrible for you. McDonald's, yeah. for one. Oh, who, uh, well, who's <laughs> sp sponsoring the show right now? I'm just going to quick check. <laughs> Everything's, yeah. But fish and chips is definitely not great for you. Well, I mean, if you look at the newspaper that it comes in, it's usually just s soaking. 
in black print Shining on your hands. Print the black up. print, yeah, I know. The newspaper's probably the best part of it for you. You live and learn. Yeah. Live and learn, buddy. Um, okay. So wh- oh, I forgot where we were. We were talking about uh, Sex Pistols in your name. Yeah. And they were doing some ads. Yeah, okay. I- I've got some good names. I never remember. You know, like jokes, when you're put on the spot, mm-hmm. tell a joke, you don't remember it. Mm-hmm. I-, I should write them down in my should notes. write them down. Names. But right now, I've got... Did you know that do- Nikki Six in Motley Crue just took that name from somebody else, for example? Did he? Yeah. It was such a cool name, he was just like, I'm taking that. And then he did. There was another Nikki Six at the time. But he didn't have it copyrighted. No. Always copyright your cool name, guys. Here's a good one. Yeah. The Kinks have yeah. a song called Johnny Funders. Uh-huh. Can, you can do that. Well, I'm just saying. There's yeah. a, people get names from other, uh, from songs. So is that where Johnny Thunders got his name? Like David Bowie. Or vice versa. His name was David Jones. David Bowie's name is David Jones. See? That's right. Um, and he is your second cousin, right? Davy, little Davy Jones? Yeah, mm-hmm. from Putney. Mm-hmm. Now, from uh, Big Audio Dynamite. Yeah. <laughs> I'd, and, and it's Tom Jones, mm-hmm. my granddad. Of course. Who every, all the panties went flying out oh, every day of his life. I used to catch him. What's new? Sky? I was there picking up. That was your job. When I was 10, I used to pick you up were the pantaloons. Tom Jones' panty picker. <laughs> <laughs> like the little kid at Wimbledon who runs across and grabs a tennis ball. The balls, yeah. Just, just panties, panties, panties. I was getting the drawers. Yeah, knickers. Yeah. Where's the, where's the knicker rod? He's Welsh, right? I can't do well, a Welsh accent. Yeah, that's not. Where's my knicker nephew? That's Scottish. Where my uh, still Scottish. Where's my knicker nephew? That's t- not good. <laughs> well, I'm still work shopping it. I'll bet. What does someone from Wales sound like? Uh, that's oh, Scottish. No, no. That, now you're Sean Connery. What's new, pussycat? Oh, oh, oh. oh, man. I'm doing purple damage to my face. Uh, uh, let me think of... Oh, Nicker, uh, lad! Get that. Get them knickers up before I trip on me, Nicker. Stevie, get on there. Get them out of me way. Where's me nephew, Steve? I'm tripping over these panties, I'm Stevie. I'm to me nuts in knickers, lad. <laughs> Still Scottish. <laughs> there is no Welsh accent in, in my arsenal. It, it's um, all I'm talking about. Someone's got it. Air Boyle. That's it. Air Boyle. Oh, wow. Is that really what it sounds like? Do you, you ever see the movie Zulu? Yes. That's a lot of Welsh in that. Oh. Yeah. Let's cut to a clip from the movie Zulu right now. Can we? Uh, and we're back. I that don't was a think great that's that great. <laughs> I have, to do, I have to do something right now. Yeah, of course. Okay. Maybe you could read it for I me. I would love to. The Scrambler 1000 launched this summer and joined Ducati's Scrambler family. The Scrambler was first designed in 1962 with this new version, maintaining the free spirit and easier riding style that's made Scramblers popular with both new and experienced riders. It's got the performance exhaust for the Ducati, bark LED turn signals to the wankers, so you can see when you're changing lines and the headlights will grill, and the headlights grill, which looks just cool. Jonesy, elaborate on the Scrambler 1100. That's the bottom bit. And then read the part below. If you're a Welshman like me, and you've got a motorcycle license, and you're interested in the Scrambler 1100, go to Jonesy's testride.com and schedule a test ride. Conveniently located in Wales. After you complete the test ride, you'll get free limited edition Jones this Chopbox trucker hat. And maybe you too, I've turned Irish towards the end, <laughs> will want to ride away with a scrambler <laughs> taken from me, Tom Jones. <laughs> Tired of being surrounded by panties up to your ankles. <laughs> well, what you oh. need is a knicker nephew. <coughs> and here he is, Steve Jones. What Famous. We, what are we going to play? Knicker grabbing. We're going to go to the Duke. When we come back, more, more Tom Lennon. We might even do a tune for you. I love it. Take it away. You're listening to Jonesy's Jukebox on KLOS. And my guest, Tom Lennon. That was Tom Jones, Puppet Man. Did you see how it all goes round and round, go. buddy? Puppet Master on there demand. You, there you go. Tom Jones. Making sure your screens get hacked. That's it. We got Tom Jones, his nephew, Steve Jones, the running. Pan, the panty collector. Panty grabber, running along like those kids at Wimbledon. That's it. When every ball hits the nets. 
That's it. Probably saved you. Probably saved you. Probably saved Tom Jones' life a thousand times over. At least, because you get those panties around your <laughs> ankles. You can trip. And you're in the middle of what's new, pussycat? Whoa! And you're just looking out. You're locking eyes. You don't know. You're about to go down, face plant into the orchestra pit. At the at the Hammersmith Odeon, <laughs> Apollo. This could be the end of your life if you didn't have a nephew now like Steve Jones running and grabbing these. Picking up them landmines. <laughs> <laughs> Before What's that was new, a- Nicker lad? Whoa, whoa, oh, whoa. whoa. He does some great songs. Oh. Uh, there's some green, green grass of home. It's actually, if you listen to the lyrics, it's, yeah. it's a sad song. I, th- I don't think anybody thought Green Green Grass of Home was not a sad song. That's, uh, what's sadder than that? It, no, if you listen to the lyrics, yeah. uh, th- there's a few There's a few good ones. Blinders. Um, Sex Pistols. That was a track called Liar. Mm-hmm. Off the album Never Mind the Bollocks. And, uh, yeah, we're here with Tom Lennon. He's got his uh, new movie coming out, Puppet Master. Puppet Master. All the, uh, all the cinemas. At all the cinema. When I say all the cinemas, mostly on demand. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's a great. That's a great way to say mostly on demand. Yeah. When you say there's a mm-hmm. load of movies, Puppet Master, is mm-hmm. it like a? Is it like a, it's a, series. a Stephen King kind of deal? Uh, uh, by which I mean, there, I think there's 14 of them. Yeah. The first one's in the 80s. You know, a bunch of people in a hotel. Same story. Puppets ripping them apart. Yeah. Same story. P- very similar. Nazis. Yeah. No, there weren't Nazis in the first one. You know, I'll be honest, Steve, I haven't seen every one of the Puppet Master yeah. movies. You know, I'm kind of a busy guy. Yeah, I know. So I've seen, a, I've seen like one, the first one or two, and then the one that I'm in, yeah. of which I kind of <laughs> skimmed the script. Yeah. But I saw that there's a lot of sex and violence, and I'm like, that sounds kind of fun. Yeah. Yeah. When you, when, you get, mm-hmm. when you get an opportunity to be in a movie, yes. maybe not the lead or yeah. the next the lead, yeah. but like a few scenes, mm-hmm. do you bother reading the whole script? No, <laughs> never. <laughs> Never. I'm in, usually I'm in a whole movie, and it's a surprise to me when I see it come out. Yeah. It's tough. In a movie like Puppet Master, I'm in a lot of it, so that's different. Yeah. But there's certainly movies that I've seen where everything that happens is news to me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, can't, I can't be reading that whole script. Do you think a lot of actors do the same thing? Absolutely. What you do is you, you in a PDF, you can just search for the character's name, and then you see what they say. It's also and like— And you just go there and you say it. It's, it's, all, it's also like yeah. uh, an interview in a magazine. You go mm-hmm. straight to where your name is, right? You don't read Absolutely. the rest. Absolutely. Blah, 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 blah. It's like the parents <laughs> on Peanuts. Blah, 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 blah. Steve Jones. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Nephew uh, of Tom Jones. Blah, 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 panty. Blah. Panty collector for Tom Jones. Okay, we're going to attempt something for the first time here on Kayla West. It could be, be a disaster. Could be. Probably, right. probably will be. Well, it will be yeah. if you think like that, Tom. Yeah. You don't think do it? positive thoughts, yeah. Tom. Positive, positive thoughts. thoughts. You're gonna sing this, right? We're gonna do it together, right? We're we're gonna play guitar together. Yeah. And you're gonna sing with me also. I is might, what I was led to believe. I'm. Where's that contract? I'm coming in on the chorus. Okay, cool. Or wherever I. I'm uh, not. I, only because I'm terrible. Even though the lyrics. Might be in really? front of me. I we're gonna do one. The last one of the last times I saw you, you were sitting with uh, Billy from the Cult, and we were both at Morrissey at the Bowl. So that'll be. This will be a great. This is like a little wrap up to that. Okay, baby. We done it. Trudging slowly over wet sand, back to the bench where your clothes were stolen This is the coastal town But they forgot to close down Armageddon Come Armageddon Come Armageddon down Every day is like Sunday Sign on the promenade at your postcard How I dearly wish I were not here In the 
the seaside town That they forgot to bomb Come, come, come Nuclear bomb Every day is like Sunday Every day is silent and gray Trudging back And the strange dust lands on your head And on your face 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 Wales, not the country, the, the creature, the largest mammal the world has ever known. Little dragon. Whales are air-breathing mammals like you and me. Is that Loch Ness monster? The Loch Ness monster is actually just a brachiosaurus. I have a Ford Raptor. The Ford Raptor is a mammal like you and me. And the last of the dinosaurs. 
T-Rex. The T-Rex is a band, a great band, playing some of the fruitiest music you ever heard in your entire life. With the late Mark Wallen, he's wrapped around a tree in barns. Every day is like Sunday. Especially the Monday of a three-day weekend Then you forget, oh, it's not Sunday It's actually Labour Day It feels so much like Sunday because there's no mail Even no panties in the mail for Tom Jones Milk the cow, milk the cow, milk the cow Cheese is butter, cheese is Figuratively murder more than it's not milk literal. The cow, milk the cow, but it's figuratively milk the cow. murder. See you later, everybody. Mr. Tom Jones! All right!